unfortunately, your worries will come to fruition. We have a challenge. We have a problem. We have work to do. Policy implementation, very important, and I've emphasized it before. Please, let us develop policies. Let us do vision. But let us develop what's called implementation as a science. Implementation is a science. We must learn the art of doing things. Doing is more important than dreaming. Let us do more and talk less. Implementation is a science. That's why we talk about an implementation matrix. Who's going to do what? When are they doing it? Where is the money coming from? What are the timelines to success? What are the milestones to measure success? How are we going to monitor and measure? How are we feeding back an implementation matrix? How do we prioritize it? these activities? How do we sequence it? Implementation is a science. We must spend more time discussing how we're going to do things. But more importantly, spend time doing things. There's this debate in our business that says, what is more important, strategy or execution? <laughs> False dichotomy. <coughs> execution is strategy. If you're not doing things, you have no strategy. Another cynical view, it's better to have a poorly developed strategy which is maximally executed, effectively executed, than to have a perfect strategy which is never implemented. Execution, execution, execution. Now, coming to AI, we need a framework, and uh, I talk about it in detail in the book. Each country must have a national AI vision. Each country must have a national AI strategy. Each country must have a national implementation strategy. That is the beginning at national level. It's not enough. We must have the same at SADAC, the SADAC AI vision, the SADAC AI strategy, the SADAC AI implementation matrix. That's not enough. We go to the continent, the African AI vision, the African AI strategy, the African AI implementation matrix. Those three layers must talk to each other. The continent is talking to the region, the region is talking to the country, vice versa, back and forth, harmonized at three levels. I talk about it in the book. When you do that, then we can say Africa, Zimbabwe, SADAC is ready for the AI revolution. By having this framework at national level, at regional level, and continental level. There are efforts at the AU right now, but they're not very good. I critique them in my book. I do a SWOT analysis and show the deficiencies that the AU, but they've done an effort I talk about in the book. So that's what we need to do. And then of course, once we've done that, we emphasize on the implementation as you are um, uh, stating. We emphasize on the policy implementation. Poly AI policy is important, but within the context of a vision, as I showed in my chart. Strategy, vision, policy, implementation. Very important that you are raising that issue. We must remember, I spoke about numbers. Yes, we must organize, organize ourselves as Zimbabwe, but we need to think more as Southern. And then more importantly is the African continent, so that we are able to embrace AI as 1.4 billion Africans with a collective GDP of $3.1 trillion. That would be a better framework to adopt AI so we can compete about it. China is successful because China has 1.4 billion people as one unit. They have a GDP of $19 trillion. That's why they're a player. You know why? Once you have a product in China, a TV, a phone, a computer, you have a market of 1.4 billion people. How can you lose? How can you lose? I've built a computer. I've built a cell phone. And there is a market. Size of market is important. That's why if we work together, for example, is Africa, and we say Uganda is going to produce a tractor, Zimbabwe is going to produce a lorry. And Malawi is going to do a baki. 
and Zambia a car. We declare at the AU, we are all going to buy our bucky, are going to buy a tractor, a lorry. It means those lorries, that tractor, that car has a market of 1.4 billion Africans. How can that industry fail? But because you are brainwashed, you want Mercedes Benz. You want a tractor from John Deere. But if we're organized and they say, we are the governments, governments buy tractors, government buys lorries, government buys buckies, we as governments that we control.